wonderful people welcome back to my channel one more time so in this video it's going to be a short one it's not going to be very lengthy and this is for my newbies in tech um, for students engineering students computer science students and anyone who is um, who is looking to start a career in tech so normally when you uh, when you take tech um, lessons like programming lessons then you wonder how you can actually source for projects where you can get handsome projects to practice so i'm going to show you one way where you can get on handsome projects to practice so one of the tools that you need is github 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 is a platform where most um, developers, um, coders put their their programming, their programming, their source codes onto the. These are my source codes anyway. When you, um, they put most programmers, students, engineering students put their source code, and then they share it to the public. Yeah. So when you check on my uh, repository. I don't have a lot of repositories in we have 24 um, these are my repositories um, that I shared because uh, for this uh, that is uh, a paper I wrote so I had to put it on put it here so that I what do you call it I um, share with the journal or the reviewers similar to my doctoral thesis too so we are going back to um, the github and for the github this is the dashboard we can see the dashboard we can see our if you have repositories on github on the left side you can see your top repositories if you want to create a repository click on new but that is not the focus of this video i want to really keep it snappy and short and similarly if you also want to create another repository you can either use new here or new on the right side all right and then we can also go through and see um things that um people have posted so when you see these are some of the the developers i follow i follow this guy kid gali he's very good in um, matplotlib tutorials he breaks it down if you are looking to use to do serious data visualization with your python we use um, a package called a matplotlib that is what is used to draw scientific diagrams yeah so this guy breaks it down so we can check on it and moreover if you're also looking to go into ai this is um, a guy uh, who is very good he's my senior anyway he's very good with um, ai and his research area is a um, large language model so you can also follow him um, you can also follow him from here yes you can also follow him from here so back to the video um you can see here um google um github proposed um i follow this they propose um google apis that's rec they recommended this for me okay so i right click on that and then i see what is what it also entails so yeah, this is Java Big Table. Um, this is for yeah, those in Google Cloud, those who are practicing Google Cloud, and that is it. So you can take your time and go through and see training repositories. If we check on training repositories, um, we have a whole lot of that. We have the PowerShell, the Hugging Faces, um, and uh, Nvidia deep learning examples. Let's click on it and see how it works. Yeah, so this is a serious, serious, serious stuff. That is those who do um, AI. If you're looking to go into AI, you can also take your time to go through this. And these are developers, I think top developers that people um, people follow and the, who create um, a lot of code. So put, put their source codes online. And similarly on the right side, you suppose we have the training repositories that are recommended for me here. We can also check the explore repositories and say explore more. So explore more, you are going to see, get the latest developer and open news, what is really going on, watch GitHub, the updates that is going on on GitHub, whatever repositories people are posting, 
trending developers on the right side and a whole lot so as i said i'm going to learn i want to learn um learn on matplotlib i want to i'm a newbie for instance let's say i'm a newbie to math and python i want to use python to draw scientific graphs all right so i'm going to type my my search option in the search button here so here you can see that it gives us um an instruction that we type slash to search so that's what we're going to do we're going to follow and type slash to search and you can see here besides a search bar we have cop um tarry copilot so github also has copilot it's also embedded in the vs code it has vs code into it so that is um how handy github can be all right so yeah let's say general purpose chat um we can ask it questions or you can go to you can ask what um does um this pressing post on github let's see if it's going to answer my question i'm asking myself my question so to understand what a specific, specific GitHub user post, I can look for the repository's contributions. Would you please provide the GitHub username of the person you are interested in? So let's say uh, the username. Let's say, let's say, what does, um, okay, let me just use um, my friend. He's my senior, and he will not friend, he's senior. What, okay, what kind, sorry. What kind what kind of mm, repositories so repository repositories does Don Wayne have and let's see what answer is going to give us. So it's going to check his repository, his issues. Okay, so you can visit the GitHub profile here to see their repository. So it says, I cannot directly retrieve the repositories for the users down waning. You can visit the users, um, users GitHub here to see their repository. So it takes me to my, my senior man's uh, profile all right okay now let me also ask myself what does what kind of repositories what kind of source code does a a uh my name yeah adobe a a adobe post what kind of why am i typing my name wrongly post okay and let's see what answer is it gives us it says um yeah it says it's giving us an answer so it's fetching the data i cannot directly so we can click the github profile here so this is how handy it is this is how handy it can use github so it's opening my file yeah this is it this one is opening so we go back to github okay and then we click on that animal button button and then we click on the search we are going to look for matplotlib tutorials so we click on slash and um, click on matplotlib matplotlib tutorials and matplotlib is a python package as i already said before that is used to create wonderful graphs like serious graphs is used for serious serious data visual data visualization so for matplotlib tutorials on the left side we can say filter by code by repositories by pull request we can click on more by commits we can filter by jupyter notebook that is also have the jupyter notebook embedded the python so that um we are going to use the vs code a css more languages and stuff but for matplotlib is used for it's used for it's used for python so we just need these two all right and we can see on the left side we have about 231k codes 
So 231k because that means 231,000 calls on it. And I'm going to click on one of them. Let me see. Searching 101 Machine Learning by Andrew NG. Oh, yes. This is the man who gives tutorials on deep learning. Andrew NG Implementation in Python. Yeah, so this is it. If you are interested in his lessons, he has programming lessons and all that, we can check through if you are interested. You can fork the repo, fork the repository. So if you fork the repository, say fork the repo. So he says that you can fork the repo on GitHub, clone the project to your own machine. All right, commit changes to your own branch, modify everything by yourself on locally. All right, yes. And another thing we can also search for is uh, we can search by repositories. And for when we search by repositories, it gives us the best match. And we can check on Ruja Matplotlib tutorial, and we can scroll through and see. I think this guy has a um, the. I think he has Colab embedded in it. So, because this looks like a Colab. Yeah, okay, it looks like a Colab stuff. So I'm very sorry. It has the Colab stuff. So. We can check and then we can see this is for scientific diagram for drawing scientific diagrams so we can check on these and learn we can use this to practice your matplotlib and all that yes this is used for serious data visualization so these are the scripts you use css um, figures and all that and we can go back and check on more you know more um, repositories you have another one you have another one which is the he gives introduction to numpy he gives us introduction and gives tutorials to tutorials and shows us how to um, install everything um, on that so we can click on examples and see by example.py so these are the codes so you can just use this and then maybe practice it practice improve your coding skills all right yes so similarly for best match we can also click the ones with most stars most stars you can see those for most stars you can see the stars of 3k 2.1k 1.2k the yeah I, and I told you Keith Galley that's a um, YouTube video which he breaks it down I like this guy you see that's why I started yeah if I start again it's going to be okay so these are those who have you know started his who have started his, he gives good tutorials so I will, I will entreat you to follow him and uh, let's see this guy too okay this what we searched before sorry this is what we said before so if you're interested in anybody's um repository you can fork you can fork the repo and uh, maybe save i mean we can save and create a safe search and use that for a tutorial similarly we can also do that for maybe python python tutorials For Python tutorials, it's also the same. We can also here search for the one with most fox. Most fox means um, people are really fucked their yeah, stuff. All right, but let me just yeah. So let me just um check for this one and see. Yeah, so you can use this to get on Python projects. All right, so Python projects and all that. So let's say Python basic Python project basic. Python project project um basic Python projects we got a lot of them we have the simple Django login and register we click on it and see and um, you can see um, he has also tutorials so these are things you can also you know fork and then practice things on your own so you can check the source file that is the source code it has the app and then the main and everything so he used um, python to 
create um, web stuff to create web stuff similarly um, basic python project we can also check um, llm tutorials llm tutorials and we are going to have a whole lot of the okay large language models the lag and all that so this is it this is what we can we can check for best to match this is what you can use this is how you can source for projects so let me just type the last one and see if you can get more projects so python project and yeah so we have this is public archive yeah the guy has publicly archived it which is very bad yeah so we have this we have python meaning project we can use this to practice so we have the hello world so we can just click on it don't feel afraid you can click on it and go through and go back you can check on everything these are his notebooks he has notebooks attached to it and json to cv converting json files to cv files the alarm clock and the notebooks um customer loan repayment problem the loan blah 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 with the cv file and it has the notebook so you can download the notebooks i think it um it has the jupyter notebook and then maybe you can download it and maybe open it in google Colab. lab so let's see let me show you also how to do that if i really want if i want this notebook as i go to notebooks and um i go to notebooks anyway notebooks okay so what i do is that i download the notebooks i can download the notebooks i want to find a way i can download an easier notebook like i'm in a project yeah so i can download the notebook anyway and maybe click here download zip or maybe use um here use http and copy and copy maybe if you have a command cmd mm, and then you open and maybe if you have python installed you can do that but i prefer using my vs code so i'll go to my vs code anyway and then um, clone the repository what is this what is all this okay now um similarly to, you can also open it in google code spaces which is um you have vs code um opened on the what do you call it on the browser so it's going to open this notebook on the browser and then we can use that to practice so setting up our code space and all that so if, so if you also want to learn this uh, let me clear this uh, let me clear this clear 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 mm -hmm. okay so what i can do is maybe install this i'm not too sure about the code anyway let me just see So was, my machine is so slow, I'm so sorry. What? Okay, don't worry. We'll just fix that. But we can open that in a different way. We can open this here and then... Uh, fix using Copilot. It's going to fix the error. We are going to check what error I can do to fix it. Uh, get yeah. Okay, so it's going. You know, it's fixing it for us. And when we go, we come here. It's also setting up our our code spaces for us. So these are things we can use to practice our program. Yeah. So it just opened the notebook for us, and just open it i don't know why my, my my computer is so slow yes my computer is so 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 slow so this is the notebook i'm interested in the notebook this is the preview and it's very important to actually read the preview before starting so steps to follow it says select an issue and ask to be assigned start this repository and yeah these are issues so you should like it 
a ripple and then maybe loan prediction problem and let's see if we have to install any dependencies do you want to install recommended python extension you click on install because if you don't click on it you cannot use it so i'm going to install it and let me see i'm still having issues with this one okay let me see how i'm going to fix that um wait let me just open okay so this is installed okay so it's installed okay when i go here i can see my files so what i do is i click on this to install the packages all the packages these are all packages it's going to install them and then enables just extensions okay we're going to install all these packages yes yeah, so it's going to do so much installation all right and uh, this is my maybe i can just click on search and click on jupyter notebook jupyter file new text file sorry new text file no file um new file yeah jupyter notebook yeah i always use jupyter so i'm surprised it's been a long time i did coding so i'm a bit uh, yeah so something like this all right and okay let's go back to our okay so similar to that yeah we can see yeah um, python environment so we python environment and then python 3.21 we use that so it's a whole lot so you need you can just use this to practice if you have any issues you can ask chat gpt you can ask them um, the github cool cool lab uh, sorry the github um github um, copilot sorry you can ask youtube you can ask um ask stack overflow this is how these are installed and we click on here to fetch the csv file use the csv file we copy the link okay. copy path we put the path here okay let me just uh, duplicate this one and see okay code let me copy this code let me repeatedly this code and then see if we can i just don't want to make any mistakes I'm just trying something for us to see. So I copy the path for this one, copy path, and then put it in this. And let me run and see. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it worked. Then I click on DF head. It's going to, yeah, so it's going to do all these things for you. So you can use this to practice DF ship. We have DF head, DF, DF head. I, I'm not a programming teacher right now, so I just don't want to go into details. But DF head, it means it's going to give you the first, I think, first 10 rules of um, your uh, of your data. We can also have DF, DF, I think DF dot shape, yeah. DF dot, dot tail, and this, and you click on that. It's also going to give you the last 10, yeah. And they have shape, then remaining columns, they have columns, blah, blah, blah. So you can use this to practice, then check now values. This is a notebook, it's been there, everything has been done for you, okay? You don't need to stress. And then that. Okay, this is, there's a mistake here. I don't know what happened, but there's a mistake here. Yeah, so we can, here alone, underscore, my, what is the error? I think if I take my time, I can fix the error, but this is not the focus of this video. I just want to show you how you can use Python to actually um, select projects and then practice. Similarly, this is the last part I want to see. Um, I want to show you another one. This is a hands-on LLM project that I want to show you. Open link in GitHub. I think it's open here. And this one, they have their 
um, tutorials and you, if you take your time and you go through you see the tutorial that has been given and this one is um, it has the open collab so it has the collab it's okay it has the google jupyter notebook so it's also similar to what i opened here um <clears throat> you can read through and then open collab it's going to open the same way so you click on this and it starts running run anyway it runs it's going to install it's going to do the installation for you let me just do that to demonstrate mm, run anyway it's still going to do a lot of installations and all that because my machine is not so good for deep learning it's not good for deep learning analysis or running a lot of codes yeah i don't i'm just uh, you know it's, it's a kind of a basic laptop it's not the powerful one it's not like the ones with the rtx and the <coughs> the rtx with the high programming gps and all that so um that is my um, yeah you see it's running yeah so this how sorry this is how you can use you can use um you can use github to source for codes <laughs> This is how you can use GitHub to source for codes and then um, practice some Python projects and do some um, necessary learning. So here we can see for, for this guy, you can also learn a lot of um, um, basic Python, um, Python data science task, pandas, the matplotlib. I, I swear, this guy is serious. I love his tutorials on my plot lip. Yeah, so you can follow him and then you can actually move on from there. So if you are interested in this video, you like my video, you subscribe and then um, share with your friends. If you have any question, you contact me. You contact me on how to use this, all right? Um, I don't have the time to be teaching programming. Otherwise, I would have taught programming on my channel. I don't have the time. Yes. So, I just want to show you basic ways. But if you have any questions available, we can actually um, leave it under my comment section. And thanks for watching. And do have a lovely day.